Hello and welcome back to another fun-filled day of DIYs and thrift finds. So if you'd like to come along with me, I'd be happy to have you. But first, let's have some breakfast. So I'm just here to let you guys know that everything that you see here on the table from the napkins to the napkin ring, the saucer, and the beautiful little parfait cup, that all came from Island Green. So you guys check it out. I'll see you later. So we are about to start reupholstering the chair. So what I'm going to do is take this old dirty raggedy covering off. I already took it off of the first chair and the backing is in pretty good condition. But what I really want to see is what type of wood is underneath because maybe I'm thinking I can just leave it as a bareback chair and not have to reupholster it. So we'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have one chair completely stripped down right now. I am going to take a little break because although I'm working in the shade, it is very, very hot. I am just soaked. It took me about 15 minutes to get the upholstery off of the chair and this is what it looks like. You guys can see this is a very well-made chair and I am so happy I was able to thrift it. And so it's gonna be quite easy to upcycle this chair. This is the seat cushion and this is the backing so it's solid wood and that's what we have so far so I'm probably gonna keep this cushion on the seat and on the back I'm gonna sanitize it probably wash it get it all clean and let it sit outside in the Sun for a few days before I start doing any of the work on it so that's where we are so far this is all the fabric that I got off of it and this is the other chair that I'm going to do next. So let me let you guys get a closer look. And that's what it's looking like. I love the structure of the chair. It's exactly what I had in mind. So stay tuned and stick around to see what the end result will be. It won't be anytime soon <laughs> because I have to get the proper fabrics that I want, probably something in linen. And I'm not sure where I'm going to get that from, whether I'm going to order it from Amazon or try to find it somewhere here on island. But stay tuned in a later video. I'll be sure to give you the before and afters of these two beautiful chairs. And somewhere right next to it, I'm going to insert what my inspiration was for this chair. So thanks, guys. Keep watching. Now this is me just trying to get a visual of the look I'm going for. I just put two pillowcases over the cushion back and the cushion seat of the chair just to get an idea of what it would look like once it's completed. So it looks pretty decent. Of course, it's going to be a much better fabric than this. Like I said, this is just a pillowcase just to give me an idea of what it's gonna be looking like. Once, of course, I have it sanded down and I'm gonna put some polyurethane on it because I think I'm gonna keep this white oak color. I love the white woods. This is perfect. So this is just a visual 
of what I want it to look like once I get the right fabric. So there's my chair after I have sanitized it, washed it down with some hot soap and water. I've scrubbed the cushions, both the seat back and the seat cushion itself. And now it's out in the sun. I'm gonna let it stay out until it's dry, but I'm gonna leave it outside for a couple of days to make sure whatever little critters are in there are all gone. So I'm gonna do that with both chairs. So that's gonna sit outside for today and tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm back today. I'm here to do the measurements of all the rooms so we can start getting our furniture together and carpeting for the floor and light fixtures and all of that good stuff. So we are nearing the end. Excuse me, I just walked up the stairs. You guys know me and my stairs. And we'll soon be in, fingers crossed, for December. So I'm very excited. Right now I'm walking through the master. Here's the little pocket closet. So cute and I'm so excited. All right, and now this is a full view of the master ceiling fan that's gonna get switched out. I'm gonna put a nice little chandelier in there. And these are the two windows. This is the view of the backyard. And as I turn around, heading towards the bathroom. So we're gonna be tiling the walls pretty soon. We have recessed lighting in here and look at the shower. We now have, oh, I'm so excited, a built-in bench seat for our shower. And this is all gonna be tiled very soon. We've got the recessed lighting. My light just went out, my camera is going dead. That's our French window. And over here, this fixture is all gonna be gone. All gonna be gone. New fixtures in here. This is the flooring, completely water resistant, waterproof, mold proof, mildew proof. It's all good. And from the window, that walkway right up there leads to the main house. So excited. Now I am standing in the shower stall. Actually, let me go have a seat here on my bench, in my shower. So you know for the ladies, if you wanna come in, you sit down, you shave your legs or do whatever. It's just a cool vibe in here. I cannot wait to see the finished product. And right out the shower door, this is where the bathroom vanity, the toilet's gonna be right there. And it's just gonna be really cute, simple, clean lines. And now this is the door back to the master bedroom. This is the hallway out to the living room. We have a little outlet there for a light, which we've never had before. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, and so we're back into the living room. This is the guest bedroom. And around I go into the living room and our little kitchen area. I have some nice little plants for this. It's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. So anyway, guys, let me go ahead and get my measurements for each room and I will see you guys later. Let's enjoy the view before we go. Beautiful. Okay guys, it's the next day now and I am actually going thrift shopping once again. So I just wanted to come down to my little storage area to get a mental inventory of what exactly I have and what exactly I need. This is all decor for the Grunwald house. So this is a little bit of an overview of everything that I have so far. That's one of the benches over there. And in these bags and boxes here, these are all the dinnerware and serviceware. Of course, you know the chairs that I'm working on. And over here is just some more random decor pieces. And so I just wanted to give everything a once over. So when I go back up to um, Island Green, 
I know exactly what I will be looking for. So I don't know if you guys remember, but that headboard from the last video, from my last trip up there, I'm gonna get the measurements, cause now I have the measurements from the house. So I am gonna go ahead and take my tape measure up there and measure that out to see if that would work in the space that I have. So I'm very, very excited, you guys. We have like one month left to get this house in order. And I am so excited for the best part, which is to decorate. And of course, to see the final product of the house itself. But it's just been so, so exciting, the whole process. And I'm glad that you guys were able to join me on that journey. And there's always more to come. So Ross and I, there's Ross. He's just chilling, <laughs> keeping me company. We're just down here in the storeroom, looking through everything to see what else we may need. And I think we've pretty much got everything together for the decor. And so what I need to focus on now are the main pieces, like the appliances. I need to get a new refrigerator. I also need to get a microwave, toaster, all that stuff. Um, I have to call the AC guy about installing central air. And what else, Ross? Yeah, for the most part, I think I have everything decor-wise. That's all set. So it's just the major pieces now. We're going to get some rugs for the floors, um, screens for the windows. We have to paint the interior, which I'm keeping nice and bright and white. The exterior paint color is actually going to be a surprise when you guys see the color that I chose. If you want to guess, please feel free to leave a comment down below of what color you think I'll be putting the exterior of the house. But yeah, this is it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So excited. It's been a, a long journey, but it's been such a learning experience. It's been so much fun. And I got to be a part of the process and I got to take you guys along with me. So thank you for joining me. This apartment also might be up for rent pretty soon. It's never been lived in. Just giving you guys a sneak peek. This is the decor. There's the master bedroom. So if you're interested, leave me a comment down below. This is what it looks like. Never been lived in, brand new. It's very big. Do you see how big this master bedroom is? Lots of space, it's very cool. There is air conditioning if you want. There's an ensuite bathroom right in there. So yeah, so if you're interested, leave me a comment down below. For those of you who know me, you know how to find me and get in touch with me. This is the kitchen area. Very nice. My dad did a lot of this work, this countertop. I'm in love with it. This is all my dad. We have a refrigerator here. And by the way, look at the view. Straight ahead, Western Resort kitchen area there's a sink upper and lower cabinets my dad built this little temporary pantry thing we've got a stove and more cabinetry down there windows out where you can see the nice trees outside we have lots of windows that let in a whole ton of natural light we have french glass doors sliding doors another ceiling to floor window panel right there. There's Ross, dining table right here, recessed lighting throughout. And this is the entryway where I have all my stuff stored. I'm so embarrassed to say that, <laughs> but that's okay. It's gonna be all gone pretty soon. So that's it, you guys. I am gonna head up for Maybe not my last trip to Island Green, but one of the last trips before we start decorating up at Grunwald. So I will see you guys when I get up there and then back again once I get home to 
show you what I got. Thanks for joining me. See you later. Okay guys, so here I am. I haven't gone up to the thrift shop yet, but here I am. I'm showing you some of the decor pieces. These are all the wood element pieces that I was able to thrift. This all came from Island Green right here on St. John. So these are all of the wood pieces that I was able to get so far. And I'm sure you guys can remember it from the first video. I have some really beautiful pieces. I think I am in love with everything. Look at that. Coffee table decor. I got mortar and pestle. I'm obsessed with the wood everything. Everything wood. I am just loving the simplicity of it all. I've got my kitchenware utensils. I've got my wicker and rattan baskets, magazine rack. Um, planters everything wood related i have it and this all came from island green right here on st john look how pretty these are and this all is incorporated into my japan d style decor like i was telling you guys before previously let me know down in the comments what you think of my pieces so far i just love these they're so pretty I have my little coasters there, serving tray, coffee table books, love everything. So I'm going to go ahead now and add the rest of the stuff, all my dinnerware pieces, so you can get a complete overview of everything. And I'll give you an approximation of what I spent total for everything so far, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I've laid every single piece out that I've gotten for the new house, with the exception of the bigger pieces like the lounge chair, the two chairs that I'm covering over, and the bar stool. But this is every single piece of home decor, furniture, and everything that I was able to thrift from Island Green that I was able to get. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Look at that look at that every single thing that you see here is from island green right here on st john you guys did i do good or what from dinnerware to glassware to wicker to rattan to all the white woods that i love planters, dishes, stoneware, it's all here. I don't even have space to walk around to show you. I have Ross like peeking in, he's stuck outside on the porch. But look at this guys, look at everything. This was over a period of three trips on three separate weeks, three separate Saturdays. This is everything that I was able to get. I am furnishing the entire house, the entire house, all from Island Green. So Pat and the staff up there, you guys are awesome. Thank you for this amazing place that you have here that can afford people like me the opportunity to get some really, really great stuff at a discounted price. I am so thrilled with everything that I have I love every single piece, every single piece. So you guys, if you're looking to change decor, if you're looking to furnish your space, that is the place to be. I'm telling you, they have so much great stuff over there. Look at all of this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If you can't find it there, then you don't need it. That's how I look at it. So anyway, let me know what you think of my thrift finds. Oh, I told you also that I was going to give you the total of what all this good stuff costs. And so I will put it up on the screen at the end of the video. Beautiful. I am absolutely obsessed with everything that I have here. Look, look at it. Stunning, stunning. Who would know that this stuff was all thrifted? 
who? Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Island Green. All right, I think you guys have had a good enough view, overview of everything so far. Thank you again for joining me in today's video. Now I am gonna make my trip up to Island Green right now. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.